will cover the topic, sketching the graph of y equals sine of x plus c, or y equals cosine of x plus c. To get a better idea of this topic, let's look at an example problem. We are asked to graph y equals 1 half sine of x minus pi over 3. How do we know what the graph will look like? To start us off, we will look at three graphs. First, we'll start with the graph of y equals sine of x. Next, we'll graph y equals 1 half sine of x. And finally, we'll get to the graph that the problem is asking for, y equals 1 half sine of x minus pi over 3. Why are we looking at these three graphs in particular? Our first graph will give us the base form of what our graph will look like before the amplitude and new angle are taken into consideration. Our second graph will build off of the first graph, but take the amplitude into consideration, which could result in a shrinking or stretching of the graph. Our third and final graph will build off of the second, but also take the new angle into consideration, negative pi over 3. This will result in a shift and will tell us what our final graph will look like. To get our first graph, we will find the y values for these key points. 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. By substituting these values for x, we can find that the corresponding y values are 0, 1, 0, negative 1, and 0. Next, we will plot these points on a coordinate plane, and this will result in a graph that will look like this. Okay, so this is the graph for y equals sine x, and now we will take the amplitude of 1 half into consideration and find the graph for y equals 1 half sine x. Correct. Let's plot the graph for y equals 1 half sine of x. How will we find the points for this graph? To do this, we'll multiply the y coordinates of the points of the previous graph by 1 half. This results in 0, 1 half, 0, negative 1 half, and 0. And now we will plot these points on a coordinate plane. We can see that this graph looks similar to the graph of y equals sine of x, but it has been shrunk vertically. Why did this result in the graph shrinking vertically? If the amplitude is less than 1, it will shrink the graph vertically, whereas if it is greater than 1, then the graph will stretch vertically. Our next and final step is to graph y equals 1 half sine of x minus pi over 3. Note that we no longer are taking the sine of the angle of x, but of x minus pi over 3. So to get the key points for this graph, we want the angle x minus pi over 3 to equal 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. To find the x values, we will set x minus pi over 3 equal to 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi, and solve for x. This will result in x equals pi over 3, 5 pi over 6, 4 pi over 3, 11 pi over 6, and 7 pi over 3. Next, we can substitute these values in for x and get the resulting y values of 0, 1 half, 0, negative 1 half, and 0. Going from the graph of y equals 1 half sine of x to y equals 1 half sine of x minus pi over 3 results in a shift in the starting point of the cycle of the graph. This can be seen here in our final graph in our final answer. To summarize, when sketching the graph of an equation with the form y equals sine x plus c or y equals cosine x plus c, we go through a process of plotting three graphs to get our final answer. We start by graphing the equation in its base form. Building off of that graph, we take the amplitude into consideration and graph that equation. Finally, building off the first two graphs, we take the new angle into consideration and graph the final form of the equation. This results in our final sketch of the graph. Excellent summary!